Hello, everybody, and welcome uh, to Benjamin Magnus Plays. Welcome, welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Rim World. We left off last episode messing around with our outfits in preparation for a long journey. Actually, I'm going to rename that episode. I'm going to name that episode for uh, from yesterday. Journey prep. So I write those down ahead of time. So as soon as I finish, so as soon as I finish recording them, so I know what I did. Uh, but they're, we're basically ready to go. I, I think we're gonna we're gonna head out in the morning. Uh, corn is going to be our primary food along the journey because we need eight days worth of food. We don't have survival meals, so we'll bring a little bit of a regular meals, two days worth, and then we'll get uh, we'll, we'll munch on corn, and that should be fine. The animals can graze along the way, and I might bring some helmets. And mate might bring some armor. We've decided that Magnus is going to be staying behind. So Magnus, you don't you just need to be in shooter every day. Magnus you need to be in shooter every day. And Bino staying behind, so Bino needs to be in travel every day. Or travel gear. Oh god, these guys are just in travel gear. There should be in melee travel. And Bino should be in melee every day. There we go. That should be right. <laughs> You're just like, yep, let's change this out a little bit. So, let's see. What is your... 47. That's not good enough. So, yeah. They're not going to be able to carry wear their armor while they're traveling. Sucks. Plate armor. Flak vest. Let's give him that, at least in flak pants. No, nah, just regular pants. Alright, let's do that. Change that up a little bit. This definitely doesn't need to be meds for a little while. We got plenty. There's actually a couple good ones in here, too. There we go. Dusters. Good. Okay. So we're gonna we gonna we're gonna try to go out into the world. As soon as it loads. That's where we need to get. Healer Maxurum. Nine enemies. I could take out nine enemies. So We know Bino's going to stay behind and Magnus is going to stay behind, but everybody else is going. Okay. What is this number? Nutrition foraged per day. The actual amount foraged is also affected by biome forageability. Okay. So that's their, their skill at foraging. Can graze. Yes. Okay. So probably not these guys. The... the, the Ebenezer. Nutrition eaten per day for reference. Simple meals have 0.9 nutrition. Can eat. Oh, it's uh, agency is herbivore, carnivore, and so on. Okay, good. So, rots, rots in 1.1 days. So, we'll take... Wow, really? A couple fine meals, maybe? Uh, it starts to rot based on the average temperature of this area. Oh, okay. Oh, the, the fine meals actually stay longer. That's interesting. Oh, there's only ten of those. Hot, hot weather rots food. Animals can graze. Okay, so that's only uh, that long. And then we're going to have to... The rest is going to have to be... Kern. So they can uh, forge a little bit of agave, too. Theoretically, we need this. So there's 225 here. Let's do all 225. That's three days worth of food. 
The rest here, that's 336. It's five, that's only 5.5 .5 days worth of food. The potatoes last for a while. We, they can take those. 5.8 days worth of food. I need theoretically 8 days worth of food. They'll get 10.7 agave fruit per day. Total nutrition 0.54 per day. Which is not a lot. Well, I say that's not that's not enough food. That is not enough food. What's the next best? The next best thing I got is the fine meal. These this fine meal. That'll give us that'll give us a good deal further. And I need it to be above eight. One package survival meal. Whatever hay. <laughs> hey, whatever hay we have. See, nothing else is going to last any, any decent amount of time. I, I didn't think, uh, I actually thought that that would last a little bit longer, but it's, it won't. Um, I guess that'll have to do. We'll take whatever whatever good medicine we have and uh, a fair bit of the other stuff. And that's the thing is the more stuff we carry, the slower we move. Um, the bed rolls we should take. Why are there only two? Maybe the other ones haven't been uninstalled yet. And uh, we're going to take the helmets with us. I don't... We need five. One, two, three, four. We don't need these ones. We need five. We could take uh, the, ar the armor for the melee guys. To change into. But that's the thing is that slows us. That's going to start slowing us down pretty good. I think this is what we'll go with. This makes me nervous. This made travel time 3.45 days. That's less than it was the last time I looked. And the, the forge looks better, maybe. We're going to accept this. That, give, that gives us a little bit more wiggle room. The two melee guys, let's bring in their armor. Because they're going to have to get in close. No, they were they were uninstalled. I didn't see him in that. Maybe I just overlooked him. Well, the two's better than nothing. They're getting all the food ready. Everything prepared. Grabbing all the meals. If I could get packaged survival meals built, that would be great. And hopefully in the week we're gone, we won't get, uh, we won't get attacked. If we do, it's going to be ugly. What are they waiting for? Cam's on a shoot frenzy, right? Yeah. Everybody's got their weapons on them, right? Yeah. All right, they're going. Good luck, guys. It's it's too sweet a prize not to accept. Take good care, Ebenezer. He's a herbivore. There's plenty of like scrub grass for him to eat. This is this is his uh his leisure domain. This is Bailiwick. He should be able to survive in, you know, an arid climate. Perfectly fine. The other animals are free to roam.
These don't need to be attached to anybody. Well, we could spread them out, though. Magnus, Bino. A paramedic is passing by. His name is Landry Levi Phillips. Are you a cannibal? Not, not so lucky. Not so lucky. I would have captured him in an instant if he was. In a heartbeat. Send someone out there to arrest him and then convince him to join our colony by force feeding him. Well, if he was a cannibal, it wouldn't be force feeding. By feeding him delightful, fine human meals. Max is so slow, he can't keep up these days because of his poor, frail everything. And I wasted four advanced components on his blasted spine. Yeah, they move uh, quick, like the majority of this is gonna be real quick movements because it's just on, on major roads. And it was three, just a little, it was oh, a little under four days out. And I think uh, the, the worst part is going to be getting off the road, crossing the river, and then over the hills to the actual outpost. It's gonna be five on nine, but I am confident in my crew's abilities. They're excellent combatants. So, good luck. Bino's just doing some work. Magnus is taking care of some shit. Magnus is gonna have to get one of those serums, and Bino's getting the other one. As, as much as uh, I'd love to, like, I didn't want to give it to Magnus. And I really hope it fixes his torso and doesn't just regrow a shoulder. I mean, I'd take a new arm. And I did rip out his spine. But, I mean, it shouldn't replace, uh, I hope it wouldn't replace his spine. Well, you know, how, how, how much you want to bet, get, well, that's the thing, is I don't know how it works. Maybe I should look it up. I don't want to minimize, because the last time I, I did that, it, it forked the recording, so I'll use my phone here. Where's Thrumboos? So let's see, RimWorld Wiki. Wiki. Rim Wiki. All right, so we're reading the page. Clears brain, we'll, we'll cure brain damage. The only other way is to the resurrect serum. Requires a problem to die first and has high uh, chance of side effects. Brain scarring, not to mention, or chemical can be treated with luciferium. It'll get hooked on it, however, making it uh, cost in the long run. Repair shattered spine or pelvises to allow colonists to function again. R immediately ends catatonic, catatonic break at co uh, quite a cost. Vital, doing vital to the colony's operation. Okay, so it immediately heals the worst issue with a person. Like, for Magnus, I would say that the frail is the worst thing that he has but I think that I, I'm worried that the game might think that the spine would be the worst thing it would be a toss up between these two things this I, th I feel is the worst but I don't know how it would calculate that so we'd have uh, a little bit of an issue there writing down the name of this episode. All right. Um, Bosch Tarvis. Yeah, well, you're kind of co incompetent right now. Well, you're very competent, but your body is betraying you. That's the issue. Your body is working against you. You know, your 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 weak, busted-ass spine. It's just Magnus harvesting and Bino cooking and everybody else on the road. They're making good progress, though. Look at that. So the first leg of the journey, second leg of the journey is almost done. I would say third leg of the journey is to get up here, and then the fourth leg of the journey is the uh, the last bit. Average temperature. It's not that bad, really. I just want... I, I, I really wanted to... Oh, of course. Okay. 
What the fuck? Absolute, of course. My god. My... My god. Ah, uh, there's nothing I can do about the... Oh, of course. Um... Man the mortar. Beano. Go get your helmet. They're gonna try to... Ho hopefully they'll hit the... The traps. Oh, 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 god, my poor animals. Well, they see most of the traps. Magnus. Fire. Well, it looks like it took out one. Two. I hit him. Uh, Bino. I forgot to tell you to do anything. Are, is he gonna fire? Can fire in that amount of time. We need to flip the switch. And get up here. How many are down? Two are down. This one's severely injured. Three are, two, th two are down, two are injured, three are fine. I gotta get these turned on. Oh, motherfucker. Well, there's that. First, first hit just ripped Magnus's leg off. Not off, but you know. This would have been my toughest mech attack with all my people here. All right, that's down. So you get over here now. You attack. Can you? Why are you not attack? Oh, he's firing at the wrong one. Can I tell him to? I can't force the target. All right, all right, all right. Oh, something just blew up. That's why there's blast walls. All right, Bino. Just gonna try to beat it down. Okay, Bino, rescue Magnus. Oh my God! Oh, that was awful. Am I, is this dromedary down? Seven hours. Fuck. Um. No, re uh, rescue Magnus first, and then go rescue the dromedary. Oh, I took off. He's in a camp nearby. I'm sorry, but no. But I'm having a bit of an issue right now. The good thing Bino is the backup doctor. Uh, tend to Magnus. You just got a bruise. Go, go get the freaking dromedary before it bleeds to death. That's. Integral to colony survival. The first hit, Magnet was straight into Magnet's thigh and knocked him down. Save the Magnus. Save the dromedary. Uh, he can have good meds. Animals, they can have real. No, yeah, yeah, can have real meds. How's he doing? He's probably gonna bleed out soon. Four hours. God, he got shot so many times. That guy got shot with five charge lances. Magnus got shot with one. And now Magnus is like, yeah, it's fine. All is well. Argh. Well, these things did their job, and they did their job well. The traps did a good job, too. They hit one, two, three, four, five of the traps. So they worked. Probably would be a good idea is maybe to lay more traps in um, down through this area. Their traps are ex more expensive now than they used to be because they're one-time use. And we don't have a lot of steel laying around anymore. And it's a shame I lost all that steel from these things becoming uselessified. Can't disassemble them. Can't do anything. It's not that bad. It's you know he almost 
only took your entire leg off. Oh, you're poisoned as well, right? That's a thing. That could have been worse. It didn't go great, but it could have been worse. Get really, really getting there. And uh, ideally, I would like to be able to steal some food from them. Like maybe uh, they could just, in, in worst case scenario, they could just grab a human corpse and and munch on it on the way home. Or I could set up a butcher spot. They could just butcher a human corpse on the spot. Just take the meat with them. That way, they're not bringing around all the the goop. Magnus needs to be fed. Yeah, dirty uh, cookie area definitely is dirty. Cooler broke down, but there are three of them, so there's redundancy there. Psychic soothe, nice. My wife's talking to the dog. I think dog probably. Meteorite, something good. Is that steel? Well, I'll take it. Steel is steel. Old pistol laying around. Might be able to sell it. There's nobody to carry this stuff in. Oh, the dromedaries. Oh. Um, caravan meeting by Revy's caravan. Revy's caravan met peacefully with a caravan from the Southern Global Federation. Trade? Uh, you got anything? They got fruit. I don't have any money on me, but I could sell them a helmet or something. I got five days worth of food and we're almost there. I think we're good, actually. No, I have some agave. That's what we got. Okay, no. No, I think we'll I think we'll we'll pass. Cancel that. Okay, uh, move on. Bye guys. We're almost there. Found a good uh, like a little pass through the mountains or through the foothills but they're gonna they're gonna bed down soon so yeah there they stopped okay so they stopped there um, these guys survived their raid so I think what we'll do is we'll call it a day here. Thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you've been enjoying this series of RimWorld, then I will see you all next time.